Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we discuss the call of the guard, the realities of Astra Militarum recruitment. Spoiler warning to begin as the events we're discussing today are from the Warhammer 40k novel Bloodlines by Chris Raitt. As always I really recommend you read the stories for yourself first as that's the best way to enjoy the lore for yourself, without spoilers. But with that said, let's just jump straight in. Now for all the prominence and glory that's bestowed upon the Emperor's Angels, the almighty Adeptus Astartes, the truth is if it were not for the ordinary men and women of the Astra Militarum, the Imperium would have fallen a long time ago. And with the Astra Militarum finally on the horizon with some beautiful looking new releases, I thought it was about time we gave them a little bit more TLC on the channel. Life is harsh within the grim dark universe. To exist is to survive. And the all-conquering Imperium is no different. Each and every world within the Imperium must contribute to its ongoing defence. Whether forge worlds churning out the weapons of war needed, mining worlds scoured for their resources, or a straight up supply of bodies for the guard, every world must pay their dues to the God Emperor. For peace within this galaxy does not come easy. Untold billions Trillions of souls serve in the name of their Emperor. As commanders across the limitless battlefields overwhelm their enemies with sheer firepower and force of numbers. It is a brutal existence, and most have no idea just what life within the Militarum has in store. And why would they? For they are told on world after world that to serve in his name is the greatest honour possible within the Imperium. What is their sacrifice compared to his? And we actually got an interesting piece of insight into this part of Imperial lives within the novel Bloodlines by Chris Raitt. And this is actually a Warhammer crime story. If you've never read a Warhammer crime story before, I would definitely tell you to consider it. They're like a classic film noir take on life within a 40k city, usually following along an officer of the law as he attempts to solve a particular case. And obviously in that regard, they always involve a lot of mystery and suspense which if you've been around on the channel for a while you will know is right up my street. There's some great reads within the series such as Flesh and Steel by Guy Haley, but for me personally Bloodlines is the top one so far. I reviewed it a long time ago on the channel, but to sum it up here, it is one of my absolute favourite reads of the past few years. Now it follows along a character by the name of Augusto Zidorov, who's a probator within the grimy city of Varangantua. Basically, think a 40k detective meets Blade Runner. However, the reason I wanted to discuss this is not even related to Zidorov's main story, and more just a glimpse into the realities of Imperial life on any backwater world as Zidorov's daughter wishes to join the Astra Militarum. Now Zidorov's a married man, just trying to live out his life as best he can. The city of Varangantua is pretty bleak for anyone other than the extremely wealthy, much like any world within the 40k universe. And working in law enforcement, well, he doesn't exactly get to see the best of it, barely passing his wife as they head out to work each day. His life is one grim day to the next. However, as a parent, if there's one light within his life, 
it's the hope for his child to have a better future. And with that in mind, there's a part in the story where his daughter, Alessinaxa, returns home. On leave from what his mother refers to as the Feeder Academy. And it's been a while since I read the story, but I'm not entirely sure. But it appears to be this world's military training academy for young recruits. Where they get their first taste of combat training before choosing which aspect they would like to progress onto. Be it the world's defense force, law enforcement, arbites or full-on militarum. And if there's one thing that Zidorov and his wife are in full agreement on, it's that they will do anything to stop their daughter enrolling with the Astra Militarum. While they might not be aware of just what a death sentence that is, they know enough to know that all recruits they have seen leave have never returned. No word, no contact, no messages, nothing. To leave the world in service of the Imperial Guard is to simply no longer exist. However, of course, that's exactly what his daughter wishes to do. And after a fond reunion with her parents, the conversation inevitably arises. We get to see the evidence of how much the Imperial machine plays a role in that decision. Alessinaxa raves about how once she graduates to full training, they'll be able to use las guns without supervision. And of course the classic parent's response of well we still need to talk about that line comes out. We've all been kids, I think we've all been there at some point or another. When you're hoping for something and your parents were just like yeah we'll see. However within the grim dark 40k universe, those kind of conversations are a different matter entirely. Now, in fairness to Zidorov and his wife, they explain there are options, that that's the real reason she's at the academy, to be able to choose. There's law enforcement, the defense force, things that don't mean being lost within the grinding machine of the Imperial Guard across the galaxy. And there's a real interesting line where Zidorov reveals he's actually used his position to look into life within the Militarum. And he finds out all the recruits at the Academy get told the exact same thing. That they'll be given a good regiment and they'll even get to come home every five years. Which, of course, as we know, is nothing but a complete lie. Life within the Astra Militarum is hard. One battle zone to the next. There's no hand picking of good regiments. You simply sign your name and away you go. Given your gear, given your lasgun, and then off to war. You learn what you need to en route. There's no home leave within the Imperium. In the far future, there is only war. And the first thing that popped into my head was the classic Starship Troopers movie. With the constant media updates selling the full works of what a glorious life it is against the bugs. Completely ignoring the true realities of the war. And a side note, I have many fond memories of watching that old VHS whilst painting my caddians. However, I digress here, it's pretty much the same thing. Except with the Imperium, you don't get told what you'll be facing. What dangers truly lurk out there. Only that to serve in his name is the highest honour you can have. And here we also get a real interesting perception of how the current carnage within the galaxy is relating down the information chain as well. Alessinaxa, as a recruit of the Academy, retorts back to her parents that they've got no idea what's actually going on out there. 
It's the biggest recruitment drive the sector's ever had. It's the biggest push there's ever been. This is about conquest and destiny, and that she wants to be part of it. In talking of those Starship Trooper media reels, you could almost feel that those words have come straight from one within the Imperium. The simple propaganda that they feed to all their recruits. No actual mention of why there may be the sudden increase in recruitment. No mention of why it may be the biggest drive ever. Just that it's all about conquest and destiny. Glory in the God Emperor's name. Of course the Imperium's not going to tell you the reality of what you're going to face. Us as the reader however, we full well know the truth. The Imperium is on its knees. The galaxy ripped in half by the Cicatrix Mel Dictum. With the forces of the ruinous powers, flowing out in a tide of darkness. That's the men and women of the Astra Militarum are going to be facing literal demons, unleashing their horrors on world after world. That every day more and more systems are falling prey to chaos. Of course there's an increase on recruitment. Of course there's a push like never before. Because war is truly everywhere. The Imperium is fighting for its very survival. How crazy to think there's an actual Primarch returned. A very son of the Emperor leading his new legions of Astartes across the stars in defence of humanity. Leading forces not seen since the days of the mythical Great Crusade. And here is a world that knows virtually nothing of it. The actual fact is, in a way, this world is lucky, knowing nothing of the true horrors that they face. That they even have a choice to enlist. Many worlds operate by conscription alone, the people having no choice but to serve. However, again here, in another interesting bit of insight, Zidorov has used his connections a little to get information from the world's navy base. And again, in true Imperium fashion, they don't know exactly what is going on. They only know that something must have happened. Zidorov tries to tell his daughter the truth. There's big problems within the void lanes. Big problems everywhere. He thinks there's been some kind of disaster. Something that's making them call up anyone as fast as they can. Of course, the mere officers and personnel of this world's navy base don't know what. But even they can see from the reports that they receive that something within the Imperium has clearly gone terribly wrong. However, for a wide-eyed recruit, someone who's seen all the reels of glory in the Emperor's name, to a less axer, this seems utterly ridiculous. Because of course she would know. She would have seen it. They would have told her. The Militarum wouldn't lie about something like that. Of course, as ever within the 40k universe, within the Imperium, it all boils down to one thing. Faith. Him. The Immortal God Emperor. Alessinaxa has faith. She wants to serve her duty. To the master of mankind. Just what greater purpose is there? The one constant and integral thing for the entire Imperium. It's quite ironic really, we so often talk of how the Emperor's ascension to Godhood, his awakening possibly being the Imperium's salvation. And here on some bleak backwater world, with no idea of the true realities of that situation, 
we find the perfect example of why the Emperor could possibly save humanity. Their faith. Whether through the propaganda of the Imperial Guard, whether the preaching and sermons of the Ecclesiarchy, the Imperium is filled with untold billions of recruits ready and willing to serve their immortal Emperor to do their duty in his name. For all the genetically enhanced abilities of the Adeptus Astartes, quite simply the Imperium would have already lost, if it were not for these loyal recruits, the ordinary men and women of the Astra Militarum. But as always, what do you think? For me, it's these kind of glimpses into the reality of Militarum recruitment that really makes me appreciate everything the front of the line troopers go through all the more. How these soldiers truly exhibit real courage compared to the likes of the Space Marines, who know no fear. When it comes to the Guard, they are the true heroes of the Imperium. Are you surprised with the methods of propaganda that the Astra Militarum use, or is it more a surprise that some worlds even still have a choice? That given the situation of the Imperium, conscription is surely just a matter of time. Is to serve within the ranks of the Imperial Guard a life of hardship? Do you feel the words of leave every five years are wishful ambitions? words that they truly intend to honour, or they are nothing short of cold-faced lies, that they will tell the recruits anything to get them off-world. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. If you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too? But with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.